Good evening, Bethlehem. It's good to be with you tonight. Um, I'm just wrapping up our day. Uh, just finished dinner, and so if you hear a lot of rowdiness upstairs, it is that time of night at our house. But I wanted to take uh, an opportunity to say thank you um, on behalf of, of Mary and I. Uh, thank you so much for the ways that you have been showing up as church in this odd uh, but holy season of our life together. It's been a joy to worship with you in this new way, to feel the ways in which we are still connected, even as though, even as we are uh, not together in the same room, I still have this incredibly strong sense of the body of Christ being together. It's incredible. Thank you for the ways that you are checking in on one another, extending care and concern and prayers uh, for each other. That is a gift and it helps us um, stay connected in this incredibly important time. And I want to say thanks for your generosity, for the ways in which you continue to give to Bethlehem to support our work together. At the beginning of this crisis, we uh, created a separate fund um, for response to COVID-19. We didn't necessarily know what the needs were going to be, but we knew there would be needs. And uh, so many of you have been generous in giving to that. And we're now at the point where we're ready to, to start mobilizing some of those dollars. And I want to put in front of you a really exciting opportunity. The Bethlehem Foundation also recognizes that there's an, an opportunity now to make a difference. And so they have... Uh, made a gift, uh, some grants to some of our partner organizations. They're going to be giving $5,000 to Community Emergency Service, the Minneapolis food shelf that we support. They're going to be giving a gift to ICA, the food shelf in Minnetonka, uh, $5,000 to each of those organizations. They're going to be giving a gift to of five, uh, $5,000 to Starfish to help those individuals in our immediate community who are experiencing moments of crisis and need some help. And then they are putting uh, forth $15,000 of, of matching funds that are available so that gifts given to the uh, COVID-19 emergency fund at Bethlehem will be matched dollar for dollar up to 15000 And uh, those will go to help Beacon um, in this pivotal moment where they are having to put some of the families who are experiencing homelessness in hotels and provide meals in a different way. And it's just creating additional strain and need for resources to help keep those families safe and cared for at this time. So we're really excited to be uh, able to extend that matching grant offer. So all gifts given uh, from now moving forward will be matched dollar for dollar and that money will be going to Beacon. It's an incredibly exciting way that we can help people um, at this time. And so thank you uh, in advance for the ways that you are going to make a difference. Finally, in the midst of all of the uncertainty, I want to encourage you to join us for all of the worship services this week on Monday, Thursday, on Good Friday, and Easter Sunday. We need to immerse ourselves in this Jesus story. We need to be a part of the, the story of a God who experiences the fullness of what it means to be human, all that is difficult and challenging. Uh, walk with Jesus as he walks with us in despair and anxiety and fear, and then lean really hard into the promises of hope and resurrection uh, that are ours on Easter Sunday. So I want to see as many of you uh, a part of our gatherings. I want you to share the links with those people who uh, need a, a church community at this time. Um, Encourage people to, to like and subscribe uh, to our Facebook page and our, and our YouTube channel. It'll notify you when we're, we're going live and it'll be easier to, to follow and participate in what we're doing. There's a lot that we don't know about when we're going to be gathering together normally again or what that will even look like. But I have been so 
strengthened and encouraged by the ways in which you continue to be church, continue to be Bethlehem uh, in this really uncertain moment that we're in. I'm so grateful to be leading, to be following you, to be working on this together. Have a blessed Holy Week, and thank you.